very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking of course as usual we just want to take you through what's happening so far in the signals this week as we can see the beginning of Monday was not that good uh, we had uh, two losses and two wins however the rest of the day was incredibly fine as we can see we had on the euro AUD 120 pips of profit Cal GPY 55 pips of profit and uh, that's it and then on Tuesday as we can see we had all of the signals are running in profit except for the pound USD only five pips of loss and the rest of the signals went in profit then today also today is going far it's really going well so far euro AUD 30 pips of profit while also euro USD 20 pips of profit these are the signals so far for today euro USD the signal for the sell was sent right from this level and the pair running so far in 44 pips of profit and <clears throat> let's check the other one uh, euro AUD euro AUD also we placed the sell right from this level and currently going in 46 pips of profit so everything is going very well for the premium signals group I'm really happy for that and I wish the rest of the week will be as good as this one so far if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's take a look together what happened so far this week after posting the weekly analysis video um, what we can see here actually the euro the pound USD um, it was ranging inside the zone I have drawn here thankfully it did not exceed the zone exactly as I expected look at that not a single candle was able to close above the uh, the line I, I draw here so the pair went actually in total of almost 83 pips of loss before being finally in profit please pay attention guys <clears throat> we need also to consider that if the, if the price if, or if the market goes against you a little bit you need to always to be reasonable about your decisions now okay now we can see that the market has went against us <clears throat> uh, I placed the sell order at this level and we see that the market kept going against us but however if we look at the left we can see that we had here also a previous support level now we should be reasonable and expect the reversal to occur again right at that previous support level because if in that case if the market broke out of that support that means that the candles will continue growing simply because this level is Fibonacci 61.8 as you can see that's why if the market has actually broke out of that level and as you know already from my channel uh, if the market break out of the 61.8 that means that the market will break out of the trend line or break out from the uh, trend direction and this this uh, trend is no more in a, no more bearish momentum is gonna be uh, in a bullish uh, momentum trend so anyway <clears throat> so far uh, pound USD is going in <clears throat> forgive me about that I'm sorry uh, 60 pips of profit and I believe we can keep that red running until it hit the take profit level uh, we can expect some some ranging at this level since we're having right here also previous support level so there is a possibility that the market actually might fall down to this support ranging at that resistance before again finally be in profit so uh, pound USD is going well please keep it running let's check the AUD USD uh, AUD USD similar thing actually I want you to close the position of AUD USD right away as we can see the pair has already reached that pre uh, previous resistance and then reversed the AUD USD was still inside the safe box so everything went fine in it however we can notice here that the pair went down all the way very close to the take profit level and then bounced again now that is not really recommended to keep the trade running I know the pair has reversed um, just like maybe I think um, 10 pips before reaching the take profit level however uh, the pair went in total of uh, 95 pips of profit and then reversed I don't believe it's gonna continue falling after that because the reversal has already happened if you want to close your trade with the secure profit I believe we can close it right at this previous support level right here let me just write it for you so exactly right here 
at this previous support like that so you can exit the trade with almost 63 pips of profit delivered and hopefully uh, it's gonna be enough for you let's check right now the USD CAD so regarding the USD CAD everything is still going very well uh, the market is still ranging at the buy area it didn't exceed it and currently is going in uh, 14 pips of profit I, I just needed to, to let you know that we're having right here a pressure from the sellers therefore you can expect from the USD CAD uh, to reverse after hitting that resistance level right here so the price might go a little bit down hitting that previous support level right here and then continue the rising and therefore if that happens that will be great week because on four hour chart we are going to have a uh, sorry uh, head and shoulders reverse head and shoulders and that will be great for continue buying the USD CAD for quite long time so if you have any position open for positions open for the USD CAD, consider that my, that trade might go in loss for almost 40 pips against you. I would advise you after seeing this uh, pressure from the sellers is to close your trade for the USD CAD right away and just wait again for the best moment to place the buy order. Let me show you exactly where. Uh, we can place the buy order exactly right here like that perfect this is perfect go to the one hour chart just be sure just be sure be sure yes yeah that's perfect exactly like that so the buy order for the USD CAD uh, in case if, if you didn't open the trade yet we can change it to be 1.34868 where is the 3 oh my god 1.34 868 that could be a better level to start buying the USD CAD if in case the pair has fallen against uh, our direction and of course for the tech profit it can be the same no need to change the tech profit level I believe it's uh, eventually gonna rise all the way up and hit this uh, resistance level now checking the euro USD Euro USD as well is still ranging at our safe box and went down actually in profit. So let's see how far uh, so far how many pips we're having of profit 65 pips. That's great. I believe the USD CAD has or sorry the Euro USD has made the reversal reverse at that previous support level and then gonna continue the fall. It's going well for the Euro USD. I believe you can keep the trade running and uh, yeah. Right now, as I told you in the midweek analysis video, uh, sorry, in the weekly analysis video, we're having right here a very obvious head and shoulder. That means that the Euro USD is actually going to continue falling, let me just, for almost 200 pips. So we can expect for the Euro USD to keep falling all the way until it hit that previous sub, uh, support level right here. It's going to be a good week for shorting the Euro USD, I believe. And so far, those who have opened the short position here please keep it running it seems uh, going very well now checking the usd gpy usd gpy thankfully the entry was just more than perfect we can see that the pair has reversed exactly after touching the the level of the price of the of the buy and so far it's going in 37 pips of profit uh, so far uh, the price is ranging that is the problem with the usd gpy we can see that the price is currently ranging at that level so the best thing you can do is actually let me adjust now the take profit level to be exactly right here uh, please treat this as your uh, new take profit level uh, my nature is I'm a person who really hate trading in a ranging market I believe it's uh, like you are stuck in the middle of a war between the bear the bears and the bulls we really don't want that to happen that's why I'm sending you the take profit level exactly at that resistance because most likely the pair is gonna continue ranging at it and it's really hard to tell after seeing this ranging market if the price is gonna continue rising or it will fall so going to the USDCHF, USDCHF is also doing very well. Again, the entry is more than perfect. I relied on that support level, which has become the new resistance. And as we can see after the bullish breakout candle, that support has kept its position as a support. 
all these signals are based on what I'm teaching on the channel nothing is new here it all depend on your ability to find these setups and determine which one is valid and which one is not so uh, USDCHF is still going very well and I believe we can keep it running and I think there is no need to change anything at all it's running so far in almost 30 pips of profit and I believe uh, we can keep that red running there is no need to change anything in the USDCHF let's now check finally the gold now let's go to the one hour chart and as we can see the gold signal was active from early morning on Monday uh, the price has opened right here I think below that level and then sorry this one this candle right here was the opening on Monday and the price went up here hitting our entry level and immediately went in all the way into the profit uh, from day one and those who have entered the signal have earned approximately 180 pips of profit so what next should we do with the gold now for the gold looking at the daily candles let me delete this uh, current or the last signal all right so now what we can see on the gold is very interesting we are seeing right here at that resistance this candle here and that candle usually indicating a bearish reversal or a bearish momentum reversal so the market was going up like that hit that previous resistance and then it's gonna fall and if I'm not mistaken the gold is gonna continue falling all the way until it hit that the bottom of that support level right there so that leaves us with one option we can only short the gold at the right moment what we can see right now is that the gold is approaching on the four hour chart is approaching that support level right here and it, it was also a strong support in the past therefore we can expect from the gold to actually make a reversal hit that previous resistance level and then gonna continue the fall therefore I'm going to give you the signal to start shorting uh, the gold again let me just be accurate as much as possible my friends uh, exactly like that yes so this is where we can start shorting the gold again sell the gold at 1724.21 actually I cannot see the rest of the screen hold on I need to fix that adjust that um, okay all right like that yeah, that's much better okay good so let me just uh, fix this one for you 2-1 yeah that's a 2-1 I mean come on all right so we are going to short here and the take profit level is gonna be right at that previous support level so that's gonna give us another 2,267 2, bips of profit hopefully we are going to make them uh, take profit level is 1696.79 now for the safe box I'm going to draw for you the safe box where you can actually keep the trade running in case the pair has went against us that is gonna be our safe box I don't think the gold is gonna exceed that uh, resistance level before it's gonna continue the falling so uh, let me just make the border like that exactly so I believe that's it for this uh, midweek analysis video I'm gonna post this video very quickly and I really hope you guys gonna make a lot of profits with, uh, with us with our analysis this week and uh, yeah in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.